Well, just arrived in Chiba uh, for the first day of Auto Salon tomorrow. We've got a special trade uh, ticket, so we will be able to get in with nobody around, which is quite cool. Uh, so we left Osaka, shot back up to Shizuoka City where my friend Matsu is from and had to do some washing and, you know, upload some stuff to Pierce and get some bits and pieces done. I kind of needed a day in between. Unfortunately, we did, like I said, we didn't get to hit stacked, but we're going to catch up with Shane hopefully over the weekend. And yeah, so this is the hotel. I'm staying at the APA in Chiba about half an hour away from the event center. Nice little Japanese hotel again. It's pretty much the same as the other one. So tomorrow the fun begins. And on the 14th, we're gonna try and get to a special event at uh, Kawasaki, Kawasaki, I think it is. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes anyway. I'm going to go have a quick walk around outside and try and figure out where the train station and stuff is for tomorrow. Good morning. We are off to Auto Salon Boys. Got sent some special tickets, so we get to go on the trade day. So a little bit of a change of plans. Train station's there, so I need to figure out how to get there. But I might, I'm going to be a little bit late, I think, but I might go grab a coffee first. Well, we made it to the event centre. Uh, I missed my train, so I had to catch a taxi. It was about 70 bucks, which is not bad, I guess, compared to New Zealand. But yeah, I've got to get inside. I'm just going to have a little look around the event centre on the outside before I do anything else. Because I mean, obviously, first time I've ever been here. So here we are, Auto Salon. Okay, been through the bag check into the trade day, or the, what they call the quiet day. I have no idea where to go. I got my little book. This is fucking crazy. I might as well just go in the first door. <coughs> Holy shit, boys! This is one of those bucket list things for me. And this is one haul, but I don't think you guys kind of understand. It's just the first door that I walked in. It's an RWB Porsche. Wide body. 240, I think, from the lot. 280. I haven't set up yet everything. It's still in my bag, so I'm gonna just set up my camera properly and get everything ready. And I also have to message Shane because he wanted me to meet him at 10 o'clock somewhere. I don't know where. So, Jesus Christ, I've never seen a car show like this before. We might as well start with this crazy ass thing. Looks like it. Maybe a skyline? Yeah, it is a skyline. Ah, it's like a 370 GT, but it's wide body. Highest bands. This is what I could see from up top. I really don't know what to say. I'm kind of speechless at the moment. I make a terrible host. Terrible host. <laughs> K truck. So sick. This Mazda's sick. 
and this van. Check this van out. That is a VIP van. Interior. Oh, Shane. Hey, hey, bro. Hey. hey. Yeah, I didn't, didn't see a message yet, sorry. Oh, that's yeah, right. Mike's just doing his thing in about fucking 10 minutes, man. I ran into Shane from Stack Racing, and I was going to meet up with him later anyway, but I thought we'd um, watch the unveiling of Mike's, uh, being that Mike's a Kiwi, uh, watch the unveiling of Mike's wagon. It's pretty sick. Comp car, right? It's a comp car. It's a comp wagon. Yeah, man. That's something that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I guess no one was. I was expecting a uh, another street car. How's his driving position? He's in the back seat, mate. Yeah, I know. That's pretty sick, eh? Last time you saw this, it'd been doing burnouts 20 years ago, mate. Last time I saw this car, it still had all the graphics down yeah, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. You only pulled it off last week. Hanging out the. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this car from when I was a teenager. Crazy, huh? It is the exact car that would have been doing burnouts and Merry Merry Drags and all that type of stuff. The irony is, blue is the same Toyo blue. How crazy is that? Yeah. Didn't have to paint it. Just have to pull, pull his old sticker off. It's a comp wagon. I definitely wasn't expecting <laughs> All the Haltech goodies, as per usual. Well, we use all this stuff at uh, all the Haltech stuff, radium fuel cell. It's pretty sick. Very wide. Try not to get in everyone's way. Rotan Clan. Old Thirsty. Yeah, is it, oh, the plate, you put a plate on it, yeah? Yeah, it's the original New Zealand plate. Oh, Pretty sick how that's a comp car. Very sick. Mike's done a really good job. Wow, everybody has done a good job. Alright. Well, Shane yeah, doesn't want to be on camera, but Easy. good to see you. Oh, yeah, next time, man. Appreciate all it. Right. Thank you. No worries. Are you filming now, yeah? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Is it? It's going to be on all day. Too easy. I'll speak soon, okay? All right. See you soon, man. Take care of yourself. Well, I'm trying to f figure out my way back to the start. Oh, yeah. Rayberg NSX, JGTC car. Enough of the Honda porn. Well, the race car porn. We've got to go to Honda. Check out some of the shit. Vans. Corolla. Sick. New Prius. I'm pretty on the fence about these new Priuses. Holy shit, look how crazy this GDR is.
Prius. Minivan. Oh. If DJ3 Chaser. Very cool. Bellfire. Hilux, something you don't see a lot of in Japan. Very, very popular, obviously, in New Zealand. Mr. Spockle. Look at all the diamantes on this car. Crazy. to the Honda booth. But let's keep going. We've got this M2 on the Dunlop booth. It's pretty cool. R35 GDR. Hi! Oh, it's got a full bride interior. It's crazy. Full bride interior, front and back. You probably can't see it, it's all trimmed. That's pretty cool. And then beside it is a coupe, 34 coupe. Serious model posing for some pictures. I don't think they're taking pictures of the car. Auto salon. <laughs> Look at this athlete. Crazy. Is this a progress? People here from all around the world. I think this is a progress. Or it might be a crown. I'm not sure. Oh, that's no, a, a new-ish century, and that's a crown. It's pretty cool. You can buy anything you want, like all the merch and stuff, if you want. Full retrim. It's got like a Sylvia dash in it too. Ferrari. Oh, we're gonna go around the other way. 
<laughs> no way with yeah, Gary and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. was like wild because it's so Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old rally cars. It's pretty sick. New Lexus with a 2J in it. So it's an AS500 F Sport with a, a JZ in it. Very cool. This is something not late model like this, but sort of like a very common pro spec kind of drift car nowadays. 8009s, what we like to see. Left hook. Very cool. GR86. Full carbon. Also on Yokohama tyres, like I'm talking full carbon. Roof, bumpers, everything is carbon. Moto Mugen Super Formula. Very cool. Liam Lawson, the Kiwi, also drives one of these for Honda. Or HRC and Mugen. Also, my trade tickets, I have to find uh, my friend from Mugen, but my trade tickets today were care of Mugen, Japan. So thank you very much for getting me in on the trade day. It's just nuts. Right, I need to try and get across to the next hall, which is like the tuning cars, not the, it's all the aftermarket stuff. This is the spicy one. So this is... Bridgestone. This is like all the tuning aftermarket stuff. You ever seen a new Corolla with a JZ in it? <laughs> Very cool. Lexus JGTC car. For those of you who are actually interested in supercars, oh, and a Mines R34 GDR, we're going to go have a look at that. But, um, yeah, Lamborghini STO. I know fuck all about. Lamborghinis, but I know the model, and I know it's got crazy aero. Uh, I know it's really expensive, and I know it's a V10, and that's about it. I would assume it would be 600 horsepower or something like that. But mine's R34 GDR. One of those god cars. The ones you grow up watching. Very cool. Never thought I'd get to see one of these in the flesh. Okay, let's keep going. New 400Z. Look at the front mounts on this. That's had some work. Sick drag car. Another one. This one looks like a street car. Oh, this is the one from uh, 
this is the tuning shop that uh, is it yeah they're explaining how to do their chassis we'll keep going um, and then I'll come back to the middle uh, this is top secret you don't see R32 GDRs like that anymore R35 I'll try and get to the gold one as well A lot of GDRs here. Lots. Top Secret 35. <laughs> Looks like another Super Formula car. Yokohama Advance, of course. All the carbon sick. Honda team. Another Honda team, sorry. Kansai Service is one of those uh, old tuning shops that I remember knowing or learning about when I was a teenager. Uh, they used to make a lot of carbon stuff like that. Quite a lot of tuning, as in engine packages and whatnot. A little Fiat Abarth. Uh, Corolla, a GTR, of course. Another one, ABS wheels. All these things I wanted all my life that I can't afford. <laughs> Garage is even here. Do you guys remember <laughs> Ings or know of Ings? They used to be pretty famous for doing like Honda body kits and bits and pieces back in the day. Up Garage NSX. Have you ever seen a, a new, what's this called, a C8 Corvette? This is the mid-mount engine, uh, the new one, I think this is a Stingray, I guess. C7, I don't know, I'm not a Corvette guy, but uh, A in Japan, B, wide body, I'm talking huge, full custom paint job, it's massive, I wouldn't have thought I'd seen one of those here, Tilton, Love their products, use them all the time. PWR Australian, use them all the time. Awesome. Oh, something near and dear to my heart. Bug Eye DC2 Integra case swap with a supercharger. Uh, it does have an Acura badge on it and it is left hand drive. So that is something again I didn't expect to see in New Zealand. Probably something you Americans see quite a bit uh, looking at how tall the engine is definitely looks like a uh, k24 oh no it's sitting on the high position it's k20 these level 7 uh, sorry level 7 
breather uh, things are pretty cool. I was uh, thinking about bringing some of those to New Zealand. Lots of custom fab in this. USDM style. <laughs> so up garage, have even got you know, some used stuff here for sale. 1300 bucks. See, told you we we're getting ripped off back home. <laughs> the greedy demo car. Piping kit and whatnot, wheels. This A36 is pretty sick. Custom turbo kit. I like the whole built look. It's left hook as well. Wide body. Oh, type R. FL5. Who recognizes that logo? Anybody? <laughs> Who recognizes this? How sick is that? Old JDM Hero car. I know some of these angles are a bit fucked and shit, but I'm, I'm trying. I have a newfound respect for Pierce. Not to mention there are so many people here, I can't even move my arms and it's not even officially open to the public yet. It's crazy. There's more cars over here. Exidi, another good company. We use all the time. Fantastic to deal with. They have a very different way of doing their exhaust system. They have an extra two large ones and Jitsubo exhaust system. Super GT cars. My personal favourite. Is it the work? <coughs> work? Oh, my voice isn't working. The work booth. <coughs> this M4's dope. Very cool. <laughs> Obviously, all the delicious work wheels. custom plan so this is the work wheels new thing you can order the wheels in any color you like and the bolts you can get titanium fasteners a custom order plan barrels pretty cool a bloody Bentley Bentayga Bentayga on dubs Don't know if anyone's interested in a Bentley Bantega, but there's one on huge wheels. Check out these brakes. That caliper's huge. I don't know whether that... It's massive. Okay, Gazoo Racing. So obviously another super formula car, but this is a Toyota based one. Very cool. Le Mans car. Still absolutely covered in crap, which is sick. It's a, what do they call it? The GR 
010 hybrid. Very, very, very cool. The rear arrow on some of this shit. Suspension. That's peak coolness. I can't move. RR. <laughs> New vents and bits and pieces in the front. It's pretty cool. Sorry. <laughs> New dash and stuff. <laughs> New rear end. Sorry, mate. That's all I can get. There is just so many people. Now we're back technically at the Toyo Tires booth, but I didn't film anything here except Mad Mike. So, it's a new Corolla. D1 GP prototype. Of course. JZ. I love how they're doing the engine mounts on this stuff, eh? Very cool. They don't actually have to cut much out of it. Lots of log. Very cool. Tucking a wheel. Almost a mid seat kind of deal. All carbon. Can't get anywhere. <laughs> Uh, there's a good front shot of Mad Mike's car if you didn't see it before. A little bit of touch of home. Thirsty. Number plate. I remember watching Mad Mike as a kid. Driver's RX-7 with that. I remember watching this car. <coughs> when I was, yeah, when I was a kid. This exact car when it was a road car when he owned it back in the day, like 20 years ago. Ripping burnouts and whatnot. Caltech goodies, of course. It's actually like a full comp car. I didn't notice this this morning. There's a freaking NOS bottle in the back. Very cool. Very, very cool. JGTC car. They've got all their like Savaro accessories and stuff on display. Quite cool. I don't know if anyone's actually ever seen inside a JGTC car, but you're sitting right back. You're sitting, the driver's back of the seat's here. The dash comes all the way back, it's very cool. I believe this is a JGTC 300 class car. If anyone wants to see some Swift Sports, I'm sorry. There is too much to see, not enough time. This is all luxury cars. Bentleys and Porsches and bits and pieces. New GT3 RS. Oh yeah. Look at her. Look at that car. That is sick. This is the first time I've actually got to see one close in person. <laughs> Very cool. Ferrari. Oh yeah, full carbon lip on the front. <laughs> Do you have a VTEC? Yep. B Series Mini. It's an off road Porsche. That's weird, but cool at the same time. Oh, Mazda's now having an event, so there's, oh, there's three GTRs there. Let's go get that. Jack Dare's highest. So these. 
Oh yeah, I walked past these before. So these are um, like real, kind of, I'd, I'd say almost say Australian spec GTRs. This one's got like a Japanese turbo kit and stuff on it, but it's like full wide body, it's real cool. It's actually probably one of the nicest 33s I've ever seen, personally. Carbon Recaros. But these two have like massive uh, American style or Australian style more than like uh, mixing up my words here like Australian style or Ethernet high power builds big turbos Hypertune, gritty goodies, big garrets Very cool 295s on both of them Oh, okay uh, we'll start this again. I actually just had to uh, have a little bit of a meeting with the guys from Mugen, which was quite cool because they're the ones that got me in here today. Uh, we met up in sort of mid-year uh, last year um, and they're the ones that got me these uh, special trade passes so we just had a bit of a bit of a chin wag about some things happening in the future. Stay tuned. But anyway, in the Honda booth. I think this is an RB19, I think it's the current one, I believe. Uh, the Stappen Perez Formula One car. Absolutely sick. Never seen a Formula One car in real life, so that's really, really cool. The other car that I really wanted to see, the HRC concept for Sorry, someone's just about to take a photo. This is the JGTC sort of new body style for Honda. Now the NSX is discontinued. The aero is crazy. These will be rear wheel drive, two litre turbo. They're just about to open this up to the public soon, so it's going to get real crazy. Big diffuser. Uh, FL1 hybrid race car. Not really what we're looking for. It's an HRC car. <laughs> Honda Accord. We don't get these in New Zealand anymore. They've been discontinued, but um, very big car now. They're calling this one the Group A. So it's got like an extended lip, um, steering wheel, wing, wheels, and a dope seat. But what everyone wants to see is wing. is this guy over here so it has the new looks like dry carbon bonnet guards wheels i love this lip it's actually really cool and extensive it goes all the way up very, very, very cool. This is the group B. Single exit exhaust. <coughs> Dry carbon steering wheel. And some fresh moving seats. Very cool. JGTC car. Can't miss that. Oh, more people. Like I said, it's open to the public now, so it's about to get mental. Look at this car. Kakui. <laughs> 
Whew, okay, I've had a little bit of a break. So now this is like the tuning hall. So this is all aftermarket stuff, well, and Hyundai. Um, aftermarket kind of tuning stuff. And a couple of boned Alphards. JGTC uh, Nismo Z at the NGK spark plugs booth. Galeno sponsored S15. Uh, Lightning McQueen's come out to say hello. That's actually a pretty sick Swift. 34 GDR. And what it? It's got a Phoenix right? uh, intercooler. Jesus Christ. Wide-body GR86. One eighty. Okay. <laughs> nice S14. T3 Hachiroku. We use some of these parts, T3 uh, Techno Toy Tuning 86. Uh, we use some of their parts in the drift car. Can't really move around. We use some of the parts that they make in the 86. JZX 100. Very cool. Another Sylvia. I believe that's a Mark X. And it will be on Air Ride, of course, being that low. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this Z Star Road. S13, very clean. I'll try and come back through. S13's got the bonnet up. All stripped out interior. Oh shit, it's NA. NA S13. This one looks like it's a SEMA build. No engines before race wars. Man, there's some cool stuff here. Infinity. Not really that popular in New Zealand, but. Cool, nevertheless. Motul, excellent. It's pretty cool. At least I can move around these cars. NSX, look at you. Gorgeous. 
those of you who don't know, that is my favourite of all time cars. Original NA1 NSXR. Absolute your showroom condition car. And then a new one. These are a bit of a mixed bag. Some people love them, some people hate them. Good performance car though. It's kind of like a 918 but cheaper. Uh, V6 twin turbo in the back and a hybrid in the front. Very expensive car back in New Zealand though. This one's got the carbon engine package which is pretty cool. I think these ended up in the Type S one about 600 horsepower. One thing I haven't seen in almost two weeks is a Golf. And surprisingly this one doesn't have rotiform wheels. <laughs> I thought they came out factory on those. It does have a cage. Not really a big fan of those wheels but we'll keep going. Look at this old surf. Yeah. This company's called Weed. Look at the surf. When was the last time you saw a surf in New Zealand that looks like that? It is mint. The interior is still mint. Oh, it's a petrol one. And then there's Mr. Sparkles over there. Not sure. It's a, maybe a Nissan Altima or something. It's got like an exhaust there and an exhaust there. I don't really understand that. And that is why we get lots of shit for liking Japanese cars. A lot of craftsmanship's gone into this. I'm not I'm not mocking that. To do the bodywork and all the fabrication and stuff, I understand. But the actual look of it, not for me. Not for me. There's another 86 there, but we'll look at that when we get back. There's some other cool shit. Oh look at how bone this Ferrari is. That looks cool as. So this one kind of looks like the Hakoska that we saw this morning, but it's not... Oh, everyone's trying to take pictures of this girl. Um, it's not a Hakoska, it's a Datsun. Oh, too many people. By the way, that Ferrari, now that I can actually look at it, is sick. Anyway. Uh, it is a Skyline, but it's not the GTR. Oh, carbon. Kakoi. L20. L20. Engine. Engine 3.4. Yeah. That's cool, man. Kakoi. Another old Datsun. That's a Ute. Or a truck, as you guys would say in America. Crazy. Fuel cell sounds bad. So good. In engine in this one. Oh, let's go to the Origin booth. These guys on me have some pretty sick cars. Very cool. I think that's Naka's car. One of Keske's friends. Uh, works with Shane from Stack Racing.
Very cool. A lot of time goes into painting these cars. Yeah. I don't know if you can see all the glitter. Like, a lot of effort, attention to detail. Very, very cool. There's Shane there. So, in style is their, their brand. Sort of similar style to how we do things back in New Zealand. But, um, we sold how much? We sold a euro. Same, same, but different. Radiator in the back type. Kind of standard drift car layout, but very cool. In style. They sell knuckles, merch, you name it. They got their own seats, I believe, too. Find them on Facebook, go and buy their stuff. Help support the race car, help support the race team. Um, very, very important uh, to keep racing. You need funds. So. Rotary GR86. Interesting. I think those are some 2000 GTs. Yeah. Look at those beauties. Ooh. Expensive. GDR, GDR. Never thought I'd see one of those in real life. And V Spec 2 Nur. Very cool. Normal V Spec. What else have we got? Another 33. And an LM. And an R32 GDR Nismo spec. Oh, here's this, um, there's an FD and an NSX over here that are on air ride. I mean, not what I would do with an FD, but. And then this NSX is on air ride. It's pretty sick though. Very cool. Very cool. There's all this little, I can't show you everything, eh? This is just crazy. That's madness. He's got a dry sump tank in the passenger seat, whatever it is, it's pretty serious. I think it's a, maybe an RX-7, or was an RX-7, I'm not sure. Or it could be a custom built car, I don't know. Oh, it's a Porsche. I stand corrected. That's very cool. There you go. That RX-7, uh, I remember when that came to New Zealand. That was one of the first drift demos I ever went to. I think Keska even went to that. I think it's the same one. It came to New Zealand with a blue Sapphero, A31 Sapphero or something. This is an old car. Very, very cool. You can see it's been around a while. I remember this car. Got their stuff on display. Hats and whatnot. Bell side. All their merch and jumpers and stuff. If you're into cars, you got to come to Auto Salon. Something for everyone here. GT cars, drift cars, show cars, four-wheel drives, camper vans, you name it. There's no way I'll be able to see everything, so we need to kind of plan out day two a little bit better. Uh, well, that was crazy, as I keep saying. 
I think I've said that word, count the crazies that I've said. That was day one. Back again tomorrow. I've got a few more things I want to have a look at, but more in depth with some of the cars. Just so much to look at, so many people, no room to move. I hope it sort of came across on camera how awesome everything is. But um, I need to get a rest. My phone's pretty much flat. It's been filming all day. And uh, back again tomorrow. Sick. A little bit less room inside than mine.